Each year, it becomes easier to be out and proud in Hollywood as more people in the queer community come out. Visibility is crucial. Therefore, I created this video so you could know who is out and proud. Coleman Domingo has an impressive resume, which includes Fear the Walking Dead, Euphoria on HBO, Lucy in the Sky, If Beale Street Could Talk, The Nick, which is also on HBO, Selma the Butler, 42 Lincoln, and Law and Order. He is co-starring in Jordan Peele's adaptation of Candyman. Check this trailer out. I wanted to show you guys the trailer for Candyman, but YouTube blocked the trailer. So you'd have to check it out on your own. Sorry about that. But it looks incredible and stars some of my favorite actors. Also, he has a role in Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, which are both scheduled to be released later this year. In 2018, he won the ITV Fest Award for Best Actor in a Drama for his movie Nothing Man. He is part owner of a bar and restaurant in downtown LA called The Wolves, which opened this year however, is closed due to the coronavirus. He is 50 and proud to be a black gay man. His current status is single, so you know what that means. Slide into the DMs. Brian J. Smith is 38 and from Texas. He is best known for his role on Sense8 as Will Gorski. It was a Netflix produced film by the team behind The Matrix and by far the best Netflix show ever. He was cast to play in Matrix 4, which was filming in Germany Due to the coronavirus, pr production has stopped and crew members on the show threatened legal action against the studio. Television shows that Brian has appeared in include Blue Bloods, The Good Wife, Gossip Girl, Law and Order, Person of Interest, and Threatstone. His latest project, World on Fire, which is scheduled to appear on PBS, is a World War II drama centered around the lives of ordinary people affected by the war. He plays Webster O'Connor, an American doctor who falls in love with a musician in Paris. The show is produced by the BBC and I cannot wait to watch this TV series. In 2019, he came out in a sit-down interview with Attitude Magazine. If you have not already checked out, he talked out about how the interview with he Attitude felt Magazine. Freedom, check it out. You will love on it. stage and also be sure away to from his hometown's world conservatism. On fire. Luke Evans is one of the biggest actors in Hollywood, easily recognizable in such projects as Dracula. Midway, and Beauty and the Beast. You are the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. Nobody deserves you. And it's small-minded as well. But small also means. The 40-year-old actor is Welsh, and he began his career in London's West End, playing in such productions as Rent and Miss Saigon. 
His big breakthrough role was in Clash of the Titans in 2010. He has been nominated for a British Independent Film Award for Best Supporting Actor in the film High Rise and a Monte Carlo Television Festival Award for Outstanding Actor in a Miniseries for The Great Train Robbery. His latest film, Dreamland, which is in pre-production, casts him beside Army Hammer, Gary Oldman, Lily Rose Depp, and Michelle Rodriguez. He recently came out and made his relationship with Raphael Olara Instagram official, and they are quite a handsome couple together. Raphael is an art director, set designer, and creative director. Raul Esparza, 49-year-old Cuban television and stage actor, is most known for playing assistant district attorney Rafael Barba on Law and Order Special Victims Unit. He recently left the show after six seasons. He began his career in the theater and has been nominated in all Tony categories for which an actor is eligible. He is widely regarded for his versatility on stage. He has had roles in Evita, The Rocky Horror Picture Show, Cabaret, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Leap of Faith, and Taboo. Taboo is about the life of Boy George, set during the 1980s. Raul was nominated for a Tony for Best Performance by a Featured Actor in a Musical for his performance in 2004. Other TV projects he has worked on include Bojack Horseman, Hannibal, A Gifted Man, and Dora and Friends into the City. Rory O'Malley played King George in Hamilton, but he is best known for his work in The Book of Mormon, which he was nominated for a Tony Award. The 39-year-old is from Cleveland, Ohio. Other Broadway productions he has been a part of include the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee, Eight, and She Loves Me. He had a small role in the movie Dream Girls. He has been married to his husband, Gerald Schroeder, since 2014. They have one child together and appeared in Gap's B1 ad campaign. Robin Lord Taylor is 41 and from a small town in Iowa. He has had roles on You on Netflix, John Wick Chapter 3, The Walking Dead, and Law and & Order. However, he is most known for his role as Penguin on Gotham, the TV series. Not some bumpkin from the country with hay in my brains. <laughs> I am your mother, and I will love you, no matter what. His latest film, 1013, is in pre-production. He has been married to Richard Dibella since 2011. Richard is a movie production designer. They were married in Iowa, which was the third state to legalize same-sex marriage. Robin declared it was more a political decision to get married than a romantic wedding. I like that marriage as a political act. And I look forward to seeing more from Robin Lord Taylor. 38-year-old Matthew Rishk is an actor, writer, and director. His first TV role was in Legally Blonde, the musical. Afterwards, he received roles on Gossip Girl, the movie Sex in the City 2, 
Blue Bloods, CSI, Looking on HBO, Modern Family, and How to Get Away with Murder. I know you guys remember this particular scene. He wrote, directed, and starred in Stranger Out of You, which premiered at the Frameline Film Festival in 2019. The film stars Adrian Anchando, who also appeared in How to Get Away with Murder, and Israel Zamora from Boulay Brothers, Dragula. Also, he hosts a queer party in New York City called King Thai at King Thai Bar. I definitely want to check out this party. Andy Mientis is 33 and from Pennsylvania. He is best known for his work on the stage, starring in Spring Awakening, Rent, Wicked, and Les Miserables. On TV, he has played on Smash, Anger Management, Dolly Parton's Heartstrings, Law and Order, as well as The Flash. On The Flash, he played the first openly gay supervillain as the Pied Piper. Other gay actors cast on The Flash include Victor Garber, Wentworth Miller, and Keinan Lonsdale. Theater is where Andy's heart is, and rightfully so. He won an Ovation Award for Best Acting Ensemble for a Musical for Spring Awakening, and he was nominated for Featured Actor in a Musical. He won Favorite Break Breakthrough Performance Mail for Les Miserables in 2014 at the Broadway.com Audience Choice Awards. He has been married to his husband since 2016. His husband, Michael Arden, is also an actor and stage director. Michael directed Annie at the Hollywood Bowl in 2018. He then directed A Christmas Carol at the Geffen Playhouse and will direct Maybe Happy Ending at the Alliance Theater in Atlanta, Georgia. He also starred alongside Charlie Sheen in the TV show Anger Management. What a power couple. Twenty-six-year-old Brandon Flynn is from Miami, Florida. He is most known for his role as Justin Foley on Netflix's 13 Reasons Why. Justin is one of the main characters on the show. The main character, Hannah Barker, has committed suicide and leaves behind cassette tapes of the reasons why she committed suicide. He appears on two separate tapes as the first and ninth reasons why Hannah took her life. Other projects he has worked on include True Detective, Brain Dead, and Binge. He produced the short project Binge. His latest film, Looks That Kill, is in post-production and it is a teenage drama. Dating he had a very actor, public relationship Richard with Madden. the 27 year old singer Sam Smith, and they had a very Mark public breakup. Gatiss is an English actor. Comedian, Brandon is producer, now rumored screenwriter. He has played in over 90 films and TV shows, including The Favorite, Doctor Who, Christopher Robin, The League of Gentlemen, Being Human. The Crimson Petal and the White, and Midsummer Murders. He is most known for playing Tycho Nestoris on Game of Thrones. 
He won a Primetime Emmy Award for the TV show Sherlock and has been a three-time nominee. He has been married to Ian Halyard since 2008. Halyard is an actor and screenwriter as well. He has had roles in The Crown, Mary Queen of Scots, Doctor Who, Sherlock, and Marple. A lot of their projects are BBC produced. The couple met online before meeting online was in vogue. Some of you diehard movie fans might have known that some of these actors were out. I myself did not know until recently about any of these actors. Let me know who surprised you the most and who your favorite couple is since there are quite a few couples. Please stay tuned for my next video and please subscribe and share this video to help support this channel. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Besos.